Hi, this is Deborah at the Labyrinth, and we're going to do the card of the day for the week. We'll see what the tarot has to tell us for this week. So, for Monday, oh, look at that, we got the fool. Just like last week, duh. This card is for new beginnings, taking the leap into the unknown, a leap of faith. Have faith in yourself, spirit has faith in you. And this character is jumping off into something new, and he's not worried about where he's going to land, how he's going to land, or what he's going to do after he lands. He's just taking the leap. So in, in today for Monday, take the leap into something new, something that maybe you've never done before, maybe a new project you've got started or you want to complete, any kind of new beginning on any level, physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual level. So just take the chance. So on Monday, we've got getting into something new, which is always good, all possibilities. Now for Tuesday, we have ah, the Emperor. The Emperor card is a card of control. It's a card of the buck stops here because you, you need to do something else. This is reigning in, taking control, making boundaries for yourself. It's also a card about work. So it could be maybe you want to start a business. Maybe you want to be more in control of your job. Maybe you want to move up. This is a figure that has authority over others as well as themselves. So this is someone that's in authority. It's someone that has control over things. And remember that there is hardly any empathy, sympathy, or compassion, hardly any in this card. So this is taking control of the situation. It's also someone that might be controlling in your life. It could also mean, hey, I want to take control of my life. I want to be the boss of me. So on Monday, we had taking the leap into the unknown, a leap of faith, a beginning. And then on Tuesday, we have work. We have employment. We have business. We have control. So that's really a very positive, positive thing to do where you're now in control of your life and your situation. Now on Wednesday, we've got the high priestess. Now the high priestess is a card of choices. It's a card of going to someone, another woman, or an older person for advice. It's a card of seeing behind the scenes and seeing what is hidden. So the high priestess is really duality. It's also a card of the subconscious mind. But basically on the physical plane, it's choices. And this woman is sitting between two pillars. We have one black and one white. And what she's doing is she's guarding this area of the subconscious from the conscious mind because the subconscious is not going to allow you in to get any information unless you are persistent. So you've got to stay in balance between these two poles of active and receptive and you stay in the middle and that's how things open up subconsciously. So on Monday, we've got a new beginning and taking the leap. And then on Tuesday, we have the emperor, which is taking control of your life, of your job, uh, and things like that, maybe moving up in a company. And then on Wednesday, we have choices for that. Or maybe there's something hidden that we don't know about this new job, this new endeavor, this new business. And it is also choices. So take a look at what you've done in taking control of the situation because there's something that is about to be revealed to you about it. it it's not necessarily anything bad. It could be, well, gee, there's an extra perk coming with this job or the hours are different than I anticipated, or, uh, or maybe um, I don't start until next month. It's just something else to look for. So that is on Wednesday. Now for Thursday, we've got the sun, so that's very positive. So that looks good. The sun is joy, happiness, and success on all levels. Nothing can go wrong with the sun. All positive energy. Um, so on Monday, we had taking the leap into the unknown, leap of faith. And then on Tuesday, we had the emperor, which is taking control of the situation or work. And then on Wednesday, we have choices and things revealed to us. And now on Thursday, we have success. So this is telling me that it's a very positive thing that was revealed. So it could be, hey, we're not paying you X amount of dollars an hour, we're paying you this amount an hour, which is more money. Or, gee, you get a company car, or gee, that business that you were gonna go with, or the partner you were gonna find, you found them. 
it's all positive because we have the sun. And remember, these cards can be read on the physical level, which on the physical level, this would be work. On the mental emotional level, it would be you taking control of the subconscious, you taking control over the choices in your life that you have, taking control over that. In either way, you've got success here. And uh, spiritually, it is digging into the subconscious with the high priestess of the conscious mind taking control of that issue and then going into the subconscious. And the end result is success on any level, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual. And this definitely has to do with work. Now, this here is the, the Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant is a card of work, but it has to do with society, structure, and institutions. Doctors, lawyers, teachers, cops, healthcare, healthcare support, business, or business administration. It's also the institute, uh, institution of marriage. So anything that supports society. So looking at these cards here, what this is telling me is on the physical level, we've got taking the leap into the unknown, maybe a new job, being in authority and in control and having choices with that or working with someone else. Gee, this is what you're going to work with. And then a success card, very positive. This is also could be health insurance, life insurance, and things like that related to work, related to this job. It could also be the exact position. So here we've got an administrative position. So here we've got just in work general or having your own business. And here we have, it's now supporting society. So it's very positive for the week, you know, taking the new beginning, a job, taking control, having some choices, things being revealed to you in a good way. It could also be two jobs offered to you because this is work here on, on Tuesday. And then on Friday, this is also work. It could be two separate fields. This could be healthcare administrative field, and this could be uh, your own business or some kind of managerial position. And here is two. So this is telling me if I were to read this on the physical level, this would be an offer of two jobs. You know how it is when you're looking for a job, you apply all over the place and then you get one and you take it and then the one you really wanted comes up. That's always happened to me. That's what this looks like to me on the physical level. On the mental emotional level, it's also taking control of your life and your situation in it. And on the spiritual level, it's opening up to the subconscious. And the Hierophant is also a card of spirituality and not needing an intermediary between you and spirit. So on every single level, physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual level, it's very, very positive. I hope that this has helped you in some way, uh, or maybe just learning about the cards. You don't know about them, but if you have any other questions, please feel free to call me, please share, like, and leave a comment. Uh, and if you have any questions, give me a call from Monday through Saturday, 10 AM until 7 PM anytime and thank you and have a wonderful week i'd like to let everyone know that we have some special events coming for october we have two classes a day class and a night class on how to communicate with deceased loved ones there's also a free class on a saturday on using resins on charcoal which is kind of exciting because i like to burn things and then there's also three seances on the 29th the 30th and the 31st the seance will start at 8.10. The doors will be locked. Admittance will not be allowed after 8.10. Also, prepayment has to be made because it's a limited seating, only 12 people per night on the seance. I'm splitting it up into three nights this month because I have a lot of people that are interested in it. So check out the calendar and let me know if you're interested in any of these classes or any other classes at 239-939-2769. Thank you.